welcome to the next tutorial on our channel. This time you'll learn to manage the environment settings in FWSIM, how to use background images and how to work with 3D models. Let's get started. First, we look at the general settings that affect how all shows are displayed. We click on tools and then on preferences. Here we can choose our graphics quality if we want to have some natural background sounds, for example like wind, and also if the simulation should be realistic or accurate. Realistic simulation means that there will be added random variations to timings and highs. This is more realistic, but it means that your firework effects will not explode exactly when you want them to. Accurate simulation disables these variations to make timings and heights perfect. Every show has its own environment settings with background images and 3D models. You can change them for each show individually. We click on show and then select scenery. Here we can choose a 360 degree background. FWSIM comes with three backgrounds which look like this. These backgrounds are 360 degree. When we rotate the camera, by clicking and holding the mouse wheel, we can look into any direction. You can also load your own 2D background image. However, this will not look correct when you move the camera. If you use a 2D background image, you should decide on one camera position that looks correct. By the way, we will explain camera control in one of the next videos. Furthermore, we can choose a 3D world. You can select the 3D world included in FWSIM or one you created yourself. In the next section of this video, you will learn how to create your own 3D world. Use the background brightness slider to make your background darker or lighter. Usually it's good to make it somewhat dark to get a good contrast to the bright fireworks. Use the 3D World Brightness slider to adjust the brightness of the ground and the 3D environment. You can enable or disable the ground by clicking Show Ground. To create your new 3D World, click Tools and 3D World Editor. We start with an empty world. To add 3D models, we click on Add. In this window, we can select one of the 3D models included with FWSIM or import our own. FWSIM supports a variety of 3D model formats, however, it is important that your 3D model is not too big. Click the link to learn more about which 3D models work and where to find good 3D models. If you find a 3D model on the internet that does not work with FWSIM, please let us know. Click on a model to add it to the show. Now you have plenty of options to create spectacular scenery. You can change the position of the 3D model, rotate it, or simply scale it. You can also add as many 3D models as you want. Everything is in the right place and you're ready to use your new scenery? Navigate to File and click on Save 3D World or simply use Ctrl plus S. After you've closed the 3D World Editor, you can choose your new scenery under Show, Scenery and then 3D World. Now it's your turn. Just be creative and create spectacular 3D worlds which you can use as scenery for your fireworks. Have fun and don't miss our next tutorial in which we learn how to get perfect synchronization.